Well, classes have started once again for students here in the Inokanapin School District, and with the new year comes new changes, especially on the roadways. CTN's Jordan Rylance explains how the state is cracking down on school bus safety. The most precious cargo anybody will ever transport. And we want to take good care of them, and we want folks to respect that and, and help us with that. This week, 36,000 students went back to school in the Anoka Hennepin District, and drivers may notice some changes as the school buses hit the roads. Legislative changes now allow buses to use the eight lamp warning lights when buses pull over in right hand turn lanes, which happens over 80 times a day in the district. Stop arm violation fees jump from three to $500. And anyone found in violation of trespassing on a school bus will now face criminal charges. When we take kids on the bus, we take kids on the bus and want to protect them from whatever's going on, including people we don't know who might be boarding the bus. Now we have a law that backs that up so that when it happens, the police can get involved and there actually has a, has a law that, that they can cite and it would be a misdemeanor for them to board the bus. Last year, the district had five instances of parents boarding school buses, despite the driver's insistence that they do not. Paulson also says there is at least one stop arm violation per day within the district. We don't want anybody to get a fine or break the law, but if, if this is a deterrent, then that's, that's a good thing. For CTN Community Update, I'm Jordan Rylance. In addition to these changes, Paulson is looking to change transportation policy to ensure the safety of students with special needs whose guardians do not appear to be home at the time of drop-off.